Our special guest this morning is Dr. Anthony Hamlet, superintendent of the Pittsburgh Public Schools. And Anthony, you are about to celebrate your second anniversary. Can you believe yes. you've been here two years already? Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> but, um, you know, we've been, been, been um, intense in the work, been entrenched in it, and um, time has gone by. But we've done so much in, in a short period of time that we're excited, even now going into my third year, about the possibilities and supports that we can put in place for children. So you're feeling pretty good? Absolutely. Well, let me ask you about Absolutely. one of the good programs mm -hmm. you have, which yeah. I think is very interesting, which is the Summer Dreamers yes. program. Yes. You know, we all know I'm the son of a teacher. We mm -hmm. know that if you go two, three months mm -hmm. without education, mm -hmm. you really regress as a student. Mm -hmm. And so we've got to find ways right. to encourage parents to uh, keep mm -hmm. educating their kids. Right over the summer. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the Summer Dreamers program at the Pittsburgh Public Schools. Su What's that all about? Summer's Dr summer Dreamers is in place just to combat exactly what you're talking about. And it's called the Summer Slide or the backslide when the summer, when slide. The summer yeah, slide sliding down it's sliding down and um, you know you know education is lost the information that's attained has been lost because there's a lack of intellectual stimulation so we want to make sure that um, we have our kids kids in school as much many as we can get in there but also having these robust programs that are fun that are rigorous that are rele relevant but also making sure we develop these relationships um, with the with the text with reading um, but also with adults to make sure that that uh, attitude is cultivated and continued throughout right. the year so this is like a summer camp for K through eight yes. at a couple different schools uh -huh. around the uh, district. Mm -hmm. And w you know what interested me, yeah. Anthony? I saw that statistic that 71% yeah. of the kids who went last year said they'd like to return. Yeah, it's now, a great program. That's darn good, It's man. a great program. And we want to hopefully expand every year. So it's a mixture of fun. It's not just all academic. Yeah, yeah. You got to have the kids have some kind of, kind of fun. But also we want to make sure that learning is fun for them also. That will be more engaging and, and they'll be more apt to really buy into what's going on in school. The viewers of this program last week yeah. saw that we talked a lot about hunger yes. over the summer because mm -hmm. you are the main source of food. Yes. Sometimes breakfast, lunch, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes the only meals, big meals of the day mm -hmm. to a lot of kids. If they're part of this summer program, do they get fed? Yes, if they're part of the summer program, they get fed. But also, if you're not part of the summer program, we have a partnership with various sites around the city, partnership with the city, that we provide the food and they provide the sites and the uh, workers as well to have food provided, snacks and, and breakfast and, and lunch great. for kids That's great. throughout the community. That's great. Uh, I wanted to ask you about the uh, the teacher's contract because yes. you finally resolved yes, that. That thank was goodness. good news. Yeah, good news Absolutely. for you and the teachers both. Um, the fact is, I know they're getting a, a, a pay raise. It's not a huge one, only 2%, it mm -hmm. seems to me. But there were some of the other issues that mm -hmm. had to do with management and, mm -hmm. and who got to control what went on right. at these schools. Mm -hmm. And you seem to win some of those uh, battles. Yes, but, yes, yes. So what um, was it, what's important for all of us to know about the resolution that you reached uh, last month? Yeah, one, you, know, you know, we came to, to, to a consensus, a resolution that we're working together. And I think it's a win-win for both sides moving forward because um, the, con the fact of the matter is, is that it came down to the fact of principals being able to assign um, teachers in the building as needed for the master schedule. Right. Um, that's not common in Pittsburgh, and I understand that context. But we came to the table, had a conversation, and we made some inroads into um, making some strides into changing that. So, yeah, I just, mm -hmm. uh, it just seemed to me to be natural that a principal right. could decide whether a teacher mm -hmm. who was certified K yeah. through 8 would teach third grade versus fourth grade. I mean, you have someone has to make yeah. those judgments based on the number of students you have in each Correct. of the respective grade mm -hmm. levels. So now the principals will be able to do that. Yeah, by, by and large, we have we have some a percentage of they'll be able to do and change. Right, mm -hmm. gotcha. Okay, so, yeah. good. Um, in terms of the progress mm -hmm. of our schools yeah. and the kids staying in school mm -hmm. uh, and the graduation rates and mm -hmm. all that. You know, I'm not big on the testing stuff, and I'm glad right. Governor Wolf isn't either. Mm -hmm. So I think we've kind of pulled back on some of the statewide testing. Right. But we I have. do think high school attendance mm -hmm. and graduation is important. How Absolutely. do you feel things are coming at the Pittsburgh Public Schools? Based on our back right now, things are on the upward swing. In all, in all our specific categories. Uh, my graduation rate has gone up. We'll have actual, in, we have 79 point, I think 4% right now overall. That's for last year. 79%? 79.4% is to, to be exact, but we can always give you that information. But right. also we're waiting for um, the, the updated information to come in as well. So uh, we're looking for increased um, uh, graduation rates. But also making sure, you said something very important, it's about attendance. If kids aren't in the seats, they can't learn. 
That's, right. that's one of the things you want to really focus on and trying to push for 100% attendance in our schools. Well, that's part of where I think, is it called restorative? Some of the restorative efforts? Restorative practices, yes. Because it never, ever mm. makes sense to me, unless yeah. a kid is violent, yes. to suspend a child yeah. and kick them out of the classroom. Right. I don't understand the logic behind right. that because then it's just less education for them. Absolutely. Now, if they're, if they're violent, mm -hmm. if they're a danger, if they've you know, brought a gun into school, for example, right. of course I'd suspend them. Mm -hmm. But, um, you, and I know you feel the same way. I mean, mm -hmm. you've been working to try yeah. to, to change the way that those practices are right. going on. Have you made progress? Yes, we've we made great progress. We've actually um, expanded restorative practices. By the fall uh, 2018, all of our schools will have, train, have training in restorative practices that will be supported by the district office. But we also onboarded um, a proactive approach, um, PBIS, which is Positive Behavior Supports and Intervention Systems that are in our schools. And that's a predecessor to classroom management plans to support that positiveness. Because you usually when, when you deal with classroom management, when you deal with kids, you're dealing with things that have done wrong. Right. Let's begin to acknowledge kids for doing the right things, but also having them onboard themselves to the rules and regulations and shaping that in the classroom and creating that culture with the right. teacher, with the students about what do you want this class to be? You're going to be here pretty much all day. What do you want to do together to make this successful for all right. of us? Right. Buy in by everybody. Absolutely. Well, Dr. Anthony Hamlet, it's yeah. a great pleasure to have you on Always. the show. Always. Congratulations Always. on yes. your anniversary. Yes, and, thank uh, you. There'll be many more to come yes. and we'll have you back again. So. I love to come back. We're doing a lot of work. so. Good. A lot to talk about. Thank you, sir. When the Sunday business page continues, bringing farming and sustainable jobs to McKeesport, the story of Mon Valley Aquaponics. Stick with us.